As promised in my last video, I said I was gonna do a road test, fast and slow, real road riding conditions on this Cat N registered Ducati Panigale V4S. So let's fire it up so you guys can hear what this machine sounds like. Okay, it is all warmed up, so don't panic. <laughs> okay, that was ridiculously loud, it hurt my ear. The bike is so loud as standard. It's got this stock exhaust in it, but even that is crazy loud. I have heard rumors that on track days they get turned away. However, road bike, so whatever, it's road legal. Let's get out and see what it's like on the road. Hang off the bike then. Whoa! <laughs> what? Third gear here. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's start with firing this up. So we turn the key. We get a nice fuel pump sound, get the dash coming up. We're in street mode now, which if I show you here, we've got everything turned up quite high. So we've still got the quick shift and up and down. I'm not sure why we'd ever turn that off, uh, but you've got a lot of um, bits and bobs, traction control, ABS, Ducati wheelie control, that's all on. So we'll start off with that mode and then we'll go straight into the race mode where I've turned everything off. Um, the only thing you can't turn off is ABS. Uh, on the front you can turn it off on the rear so it'll be interesting to see what that's like so let's get out there and do well fire it up oh listen to that <laughs> right let's do some real real world riding on the v4s because at the end of the day that's what this bike is it's a road bike but I'm hoping we can get the best of both worlds out of it and do some road riding on it and a bit of track riding. Um, as I said in my previous video, gonna chuck on some race fairings, I think. Maybe get a daytime MOT. I would be riding this in the night or anything like that. Um, but let's just start with initial impressions of this bike. Obviously, I've ridden it down to here to start this video. Um, but initial impressions are unbelievable. It's a really nice bike to just get on and cruise along at speed. You know, we're about 40 miles an hour now, and the throttle's not jumpy, the throttle works really well uh, at, at sort of cruising on road speeds. The one thing I did notice, which I'll show you here, coming up to this junction, is pulling away. The throttle's got a bit of a delay to it, which is a bit, a bit frustrating, really. It's got this, like, I'm not sure what it is, it's a bit of a delay, it feels a bit weird. I know it's the fly-by-wire throttle, no cables on this, it's just wires. So, I'm not sure, maybe it's something to do with that, maybe you can get it mapped out. Um, right, let's move on to the quick shifter and the blipper, I mean, I'll show you into here. Just down two gears is faultless, no clutch there at all. You're just clicking down on the lever, like this, look at that, no clutch, that's up gears. Up gears, up gears, and then down, let off the throttle. <laughs> I mean, that's probably one of the best things about any bike that's got a blip on it and a quick shifter. That is something that's just so nice. It really makes a difference to the riding. You don't have to think about a lot. And on a bike like this, you do have to think a lot about riding it because it's super fast. Whereas some of the slower bikes, you can, you know, sort of get away with being really involved, using the clutch to go down gears, but with something like this, it's so fast, it just gives you that extra little bit of thinking power for actually riding the thing and holding on. Um, so, really nice. And as I said, around town, really smooth look. Just going down gears, no messing about there. And it sounds quite cool. Sometimes you get a little pop if you change gear at about five or 6,000. Ah, oh, it sounds cool, doesn't it? Okay, so, mooching along here. As I said, it's quite comfy. The riding position's good. It's much comfier than the Ducati 916 that I've got, that I did a, a video on. The 916 is proper, you know, really leant forward. You feel like you're stretching to get to it. And I'm just under six foot, so... Um, yeah, you, you're stretched out a little bit on the Ducati. The bars are really, really low. With this bike, you feel a little bit more comfy on just, just jumping on the ride. I've been riding now for about half an hour, and I can't really feel anything in the body. The position of your back's nice. You're quite relaxed on the bike. You lean forward a little bit, so it takes the pressure off your lower spine. So I can see why people, you know, daily these and ride them quite a lot, because 
<laughs> you just can. It's, it's not a horrendous bike. And you've got obviously the lovely screen here that's just going to diffuse all the wind over your head. Don't see why um, it wouldn't be a good sort of sports touring bike to do some trips on. I don't think I'd get tired of it. Not sure whether I'd have the most fun on it because as I'm going to show you in this video, it is ridiculously fast. And when I mean ridiculous, I mean, should this be allowed on the road? <laughs> it's, it's a joke. I just don't understand where you can really use it to its full potential without going to jail or just, you know, breaking many, many road laws, which you don't really want to do. You want to get on the bike and give it the full beans and, you know, really get the most out of it. That's what I personally love about riding motorbikes. I love getting the most out of them. And, you know, on the other bikes, I've got the TDR, even the 916, you know, that's only 110 horsepower. You can get away with that on the road, giving it some proper beans and full throttle here and there, and you're not doing warp speed. But on this thing, you know, we're, we're cruising on about 40, 50, now we're in fifth. Look at the power of this, you just... Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's just taking off in fifth gear. It's not even remotely near the rev range. Um, so, yeah. As a uh, road bike, it's good. I can see why people use them a lot. Um, but I haven't ridden a lot of the other sports tourers, so I can't give a, a huge, honest opinion on the modern bikes. But as far as this thing goes for now, I like it. And obviously it's just dripping with all the lovely luxuries. You've got the hydraulic clutch, all Brembo kit. You've got this lovely triple clamp here. Great dash, which you can just do so many things with. Mm, bit of a gimmick, I feel, because, you know, to change your suspension clickers, it's a two second job. But on the road, on a track, I guess, you know, suspension clickers, that's easy. But on the road, it's actually quite nice. You can hold this button down here, look, go into race mode, click it, and what it wants you to do is close the throttle, and now it'll put you in the race mode where you've turned everything off, um, all the traction bits and bobs so and it's stiffened up the suspension you can see the bike bouncing around now it's like super hard uh, way too stiff for the road you definitely wouldn't get the most out of this bike in this setting for the road you definitely want it either in sport or street you can customize all the settings so close for it again we'll go back to street and then the bike just becomes a bit more docile it's going to work better on the road because it's going to soak up all the bumps which you want, you want to be stable on the road. You know, a lot of people get the wrong idea. They go, oh yeah, stiffen the suspension up, it's gonna be much better. It's not better, because you'll be going around a corner, the bike will be bouncing, it'll be getting unsettled. You won't be able to get the power down and it will just be uncomfortable. So always better on a road bike to have the suspension on the softer side, so you can soak up the bumps. Unless obviously you're on a completely straight flat road, which in the UK is just, super rare it's like gold dust you don't you don't really get them even this road this is a nice main road and it's just bouncing me around a little bit even in the softest setting so yeah well that's it for the uh cruising along road test now um let's get to a bit more open road and we'll switch it back into race mode and we'll show you uh what this bike can uh, do within legal limits of the uk okay so we've selected the race mode now this is everything off. We've got the suspension set up quite soft. <laughs> Turns in nice. A second. Wow. That's quick. Hang off the bike here. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! There you go. That's all you're going to get. Whoa! I mean... It's just ridiculous. It's just absolutely mind-bogglingly quick. Look at that, we were just two gears up there, down in second gear. You don't need second, it's, it's, it's a joke. You don't need it. There's no need for it whatsoever. You sit the bike in, come around this corner, nice and easy. Open it up. Whoa! <laughs> Listen how good that blipper is. Well, have I got into first tier, that's not needed. Oh well. What is that? Is it even? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Third, fourth gear. <laughs> this is a, a ridiculous bike, as you can see. I don't know where the road has a place of this bike. I'm trying to keep it under the UK speed limits as much as I can. And it's 
it's very hard to have fun on it without, you know, just going absolutely mental. So there we go. That's um, that's the start of it. But let's actually. Oh, listen to that blipper. That is lovely. You just drop down a few gears. Let's try it into here. Look at that. One, two, down. Bosh, bosh. <laughs> It's so, so good to be able to do that. Just click it down a couple of gears. Up gears, you can short shift quickly. Look at that. Two gears, click there. Open it up. Crazy. Crazy machine. Third gear here. Whoa! <laughs> it's just insane. An insane bike here. Down into second. Flip it in. Pull the power out. It just wants to win it. That's all it wants to do. The bike is a weapon. It flies into the bends. You can't get the most out of it. You know, I'm coming around it pretty quick, but the bike can just go so much faster than my capabilities on the road. Or what I'm willing to, to do on the thing. But the gearbox is great. Suspension, lovely. I've got it really soft. And it's just taking the road as it comes, which is actually amazing. I thought it was going to be really uncomfy on these twisty roads, which are a bit bumpy, but awesome. What a bike. What a bike. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. So overall, it's a winner. On the road, slow riding, spirited riding so to speak everything feels pretty good on the bike so i'm very happy with it very happy with it cannot wait to get out on track um and then we'll see see what it's really got where we can ride it how it uh maybe was designed to be ridden full flat out wow <laughs> we're back to where we started now what a bonkers ridiculous motorbike that is very articulate though fantastic at high speeds but also you can change all the sets to make it very usable at slow usual road riding so very happy with the bike it now makes me question whether i'm going to put track fairings on it or leave all the standard fairings and fix it back up because it's so nice on the road i don't know i'm sort of torn i'm not going to do that much track stuff on it. i'm going to do a few track days a year on it um i don't know let me know what you think in the comments what do you think i should do should i turn it into a complete track bike to so take all the fairings off maybe get a daytime mot but it's better to keep it all nice isn't it on the road or just go full track fairings and just do loads of track days on it and keep riding the kawasaki or the tdr on the road let me know what you think um let's take this back to the garden room now where we're going to take it all apart anyway because i want to clean it all up and make it look absolutely like factory pristine condition just what a ducati should look like uh, I'm going to take all the friends off. We're going to do that in the next video. So um, we'll see you on that one. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. And if you could subscribe, as always, that is going to be fantastic. So we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.